I, I'm with uh, Daryl here. Well, if I get in frame, where, where, where is it? Ah! I'm with Roger, what's your call sign? AE5EZ, Alpha Echo 5 Echo Zulu. And did you win last year? Yes, I did, uh, with this little uh, voting booth, uh, uh, over 50 uh, kit here. So mm -hmm. Runs off of Dakota Lithium 12 volt uh, most of the time. If I ever run that down, I've got a, a Milwaukee uh, set up with a, a buck converter that I can hook in and, and run off of that for another few hours. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, this is a, I've never run that battery down this is an all-day rig and I, I just throw this thing in the car and I use it all the time so, so have you used the uh, your go kit last year that you won yes I, uh, I use it every day every day yeah this is this is why I just throw in the car and uh, mm -hmm. I use uh, use it for field day mm -hmm. to, for talk in it's kind of our, our talk in station for mm -hmm. field day uh, so yeah, it's, it's got a lot of use nice nice I, I like to hear the stories of it actually being used mm -hmm. um, so what so things that you changed last year I remember you had things mounted to the actual voting booth itself but this year it's all in a um, waterproof box yeah this is the same box that I had last year well, last year I think I just had an antenna setting up here mm -hmm. instead I just set it over in the on the seal over there so yep uh, probably not as good a <laughs> solution but uh yeah it works it works and you got a uh, hf station this year down here yeah this is brand new uh matter of fact i just finished it this morning uh zygu x6100 uh 20 amp hour um, eco worthy battery underneath there mm -hmm. right now i have an eight port data switch in there i'm swap i'm gonna swap it out for a four port uh, uh mobile poe switch so i can run uh cameras and things like that i've got a, a little uh, flat display on the lid, kind of a little, a little uh, nice. niche, uh, flat display that I can uh, play drone videos on mm -hmm. it. Uh, this is going to be my my uh, HF Go Kit and a drone kit. So. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So, uh, why were you building this sta this station here? Uh, what did you have a mantra or a goal or a particular um, goals you want to achieve? Well. I wanted something uh, that I could use for POTA. This is going to be my POTA kit, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll use it for uh, when I, the reason I put the switch and stuff in it was for drones and stuff like that. This will be my CW POTA kit, though. For, uh, it'll be my go to kit after, uh, after this. So Nice. Well, well, thank you for coming on and explaining your station. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Frank. Thank you. Um, I'm with Daryl here, and uh, tell us about your go kit. I like it because it's all in the, a backpack, literally. Paul was talking about the uh, Go Kit Challenge, um, so I coordinated myself to have some work up here this weekend mm -hmm. and uh, threw this together. Um, so this is the uh, FT2981, or 2980. It's all enclosed in here. It's, it's mounted to a hardback, and I've just got this zip tie on here with the cables running up. Did have to put some supports on here because I, this bag doesn't necessarily want to sit, so mm -hmm. it could need some uh, work on the design there. Tested out locally, it's done really good. Uh, talking to guys around me. Uh, I'm in North Houston. Mm -hmm. I did find that walking around with counter poises in your face isn't the best. Or even just walking on your back. <laughs> even, yeah, even on your back. But I found if I just take them off and hold on to this, um, yourself works as a decent counter poise for VHF. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. And tell me about the accessory I got to have. The uh, Tabasco holder on the side there. Yeah, so I, I, was, I was 3D printing some pieces like the legs and uh, the mic holder, and we found ourselves a Tabasco bottle mole kit. So clips in there really well. And we got some scorpion pepper Tabasco sauce, just in case we had some hamburgers or something here that uh, needed it. I thought of a, a nice accessory. <laughs> I love it. I love it. As I reposition myself one more time, tell us what was your mantra or goals on trying to build this? So everything that I'm doing in ham radio and what I started with is um, the idea of local and regional comms. Uh, uh -huh. I, I know it's great fun to do DX and go all over the globe. I was a, a little bit more MCOM minded when I started. In a box back here, you've got all kinds of HF stuff and NFED slopers and mm -hmm. things like that and batteries that work. Uh, I've been able to do all over south, southeast Texas pretty well from, from Houston. Uh, I need some more participants up in north Texas to mm -hmm. uh, start giving me some uh, better test there but ideally uh, trying to build out regional and local MCOM for um, mag groups and our own groups to mm -hmm. be able to utilize and I've got probably 30 guys in Texas that we are that are non hams one of them will be doing his test here in a couple of weeks 
but I've got them all started on just SDRs and listening and uh, getting them interested and uh, ready to go. That's awesome. Learn. Well, thank you, Daryl, for taking the time right. to come in Thanks, and Frank. tell us about your pack. I'm with uh, Bill here. What's your call sign? Kilo Mike 5, Victor Zulu. And uh, what's your goal kit you're entering today? Uh, what I have is a Shadow Go kit. I've got a, VX, a Yezu VX5R uh -huh. uh, with earbud, speaker mic, extra batteries in the kit, along with uh, extra antennas and all sorts of connectors to hook up to whatever. Uh, the kit is designed to be a shadow at special events, such mm -hmm. as bike marathons, fireworks shows, uh, all sorts of 5Ks or whatever, mm -hmm. where I have to shadow some sort of uh, official around and you know help them with uh, the auxiliary communications mm -hmm. that amateur radio does. Oh, I like that idea. So you, you are meant to be walking portable and shadowing. I get the shadow go kick. Ah, it's making sense now. And um, you're, you're uh, following over the, the important people and passing information. Uh, what type of bag is that? Because I'm going to get this question. I know it. Uh, this is the Fox Tactical. Uh, it's just mm -hmm. uh, some sort of bag that they've got. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as for the radio, that is actually a 511 uh, 2.0 radio bag. Nice, nice. Uh, it's all Molly on it. Uh, the internals of it just fold open. There's several uh, pockets, lots of pockets. and So accessories and extra batteries, love it. Um, power cables and power poles, love it. Extra knife, perfect. And then we got the radio, earpiece, and mic over there. Extra batteries and an Edful folding antenna, is that right? Yeah, it's the roll-up. Love that, love that. Perfect, all in one. That's, that's everything I got for the HF, but simpler. But, uh, yeah, it, it just works real fine for going out and just having everything ready to go and you're uh, self-supporting for 12 hours. All you need is, you know, a log book. Yep, of course. Pen and pencil. Yep. Uh, you can stick a bottle of water in your pocket or whatever and you're good to go. I've got granola bars, uh, IFAC in here somewhere. So, you know. Don't forget I, water I, somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a bottle of water on me right now. I already drank it this morning. I need good. to go refill it. Good, good. Well, thank you for coming out, and good luck in the challenge. Thank you very much for being here. What's new on your uh, satellite rig this year? Yeah, so this is my linear satellite pack. Yeah, so, linear, okay. Right, so, you know, I think lots of folks have seen my, uh, my FM satellite rig, right? Uh -huh. It uses my ICOM 2730, yep. right, which I love. I love that rig, but it's FM only, mm -hmm. right? So if I want to do linear satellites, uh -huh. I've got to have something that'll do single sideband. And a linear satellite has a transponder on it as uh -huh. opposed to a repeater on it, right? So you've got a certain amount of bandwidth where you can have multiple people making QSOs at the same time as opposed to just one person talking. Ooh, I like that. I yeah, like that. Yeah. So a lot of people will use two 818s or two 817s, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I like to go light and i wanted something small yep yep so i'm rolling with a single 818 mm -hmm. and I'm, this is what i'm using to transmit and then i've got a usb sdr that i'm using for receive using sdr touch on my android phone oh so i don't need a full size um transceiver uh -huh. right just for the downlink hmm. I like that. I like that. Now, one thing I have that you don't, because I see your arm is getting tired already again. Um, I have mine mounted on a tripod yeah, because yeah. I, I got tired of the holding across. Now, um, over at Orlando, I saw the amateur radio AMSAT guys have theirs bored out with a bunch of holes in it. Yeah. And yeah, it takes away it like 70 or 80% of the weight. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, first of all, you know, I started with my existing equipment when I said, okay, I want to now build a linear satellite kit. Uh -huh. So I started with what I had, right? And my favorite antenna for satellites has always been the elk antenna, mm -hmm. right? It's less kind of fiddly than this, right? There's fewer elements to deal with. There's just, it's easier to, to, to be mobile with. Yep. But the problem with that is it's got a single feed point. And every time I would transmit, on my 818 it would desense my SDR Ooh. and I could not could not figure a way to eliminate that desense I tried diplexers filters uh -huh. 
tried all different kinds of things, you know, no go. So then I said, all right, let me try the aero antenna that has two feed points. It's got one mm -hmm. feed point for the two uh, meter and it's separate feed point for the 70 centimeter. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that gives me a different experience. And it did. So I still put some filters on it, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and I've got a filter here, but I don't get the descents now. So, Interesting. Yeah, so I had to change up my, uh, my antenna a little bit, but um, gives me a nice lightweight package that I can, you know, throw in my uh, backpack when we go to ham fests and do all that kind of thing. And, you know, I don't have to lug around a bunch of gear. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you very much, Robert, for yeah, coming on. Yeah, you bet. On. Good to see and, you, Frank. And, uh, good luck in the challenge. All right.